don't lose your photos while traveling, in this video I'm going to talk you through the tech to back up your photos while traveling. Hi, I'm Amanda Lithcott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. We all love a bit of travel and there is nothing worse than losing all of your photos while enjoying a well-earned break. In this video, I'm going to talk you through some of the tech options to back up your precious photos while you're traveling. But before you go off and start to buy a load of kit, there are some questions you need to ask yourself first. Where are you going and will you have access to Wi-Fi? How long will you be traveling for? So how much storage space will you need? How much kit are you willing to be lugging around with you? And what is your budget? Once you have the answer to those questions, let's have a look at your tech options. Cloud storage. If you have access to Wi-Fi while you're traveling around, it could just be that you've only got access to Wi-Fi at the end of the day because it's in your hotel or hostel that you're staying in. But if you do, you can just back up all of your stuff to a cloud storage that you are already using as part of your backup strategy. It could be Apple iCloud, Dropbox, OneDrive, Amazon Photos, Google Photos, even SmugMug has an auto upload function to your account from your phone. But make sure before you go away that the app is updated and that you are logged in. Also, some of them need to be opened up to kickstart the backup, so make sure you open it to get it going. Not sure what is the right cloud storage for your photos? Check out my other video on the best cloud photo storage in the link above. Computer or hard drive? The simplest option if you've got no Wi-Fi is to connect your camera or phone via a USB cable to your computer and then download the photos to your computer or an external hard drive that is also connected. However, if you're a bit of a ninja lightweight packer like myself, all this kit is a bit huge and cumbersome to be carrying around. Nobody wants to be lugging around a massive computer. Also, you need to make sure your computer and hard drive are protected from being carried around and about with a suitable case. When it comes to external hard drives, I love the lacy rugged hard drives, but you have to be a fan of the color orange. Portable hard drive with its own Wi-Fi. Now, when I say a portable hard drive with a Wi-Fi connection, I mean drives that have Wi-Fi connections actually as part of the drive, not out there in space. With the drive, you can create your own little Wi-Fi network between your phone and the hard drive. Just connect it up and download directly to the drive. Check out the Seagate Wireless Plus or the WD My Passport Pro Portable. Okay, they are not cheap, and yes, you still have to carry around the hard drive with you, but it is way less than a computer. USB flash drive for your phone. Yes, you can get USB flash drives that plug directly into your phone. Talk about lightweight. Check out Picture Keeper or the ScanDisk iExpand. However, for iPhone users out there, it does mean that you will have to switch off optimized phone storage for your photos and download the originals to your phone. So make sure you have enough space on your phone to do that before you invest. AirDrop. If you have multiple Apple devices, there is an option to spread copies of your photos across all your devices. Just use AirDrop to move your photos around. Obviously, this only works for Mac users. Wi-Fi transfer from your camera to an app. Yes, some cameras have their own Wi-Fi connection, so you can send your photos directly from your camera to a special app on your phone or iPad. Magic! Not only is it a great way to back up, but it's a really nice way to seal your photos off that tiny camera screen. Just make sure you have downloaded the app before you go on holiday because I have done that once. Learn from my mistake. What not to do. 
So I've told you about your options, but now what not to use. Do not use Facebook as your backup option. Great for sharing, yes. For a backup, no. Facebook compresses your photos a lot. So as a backup, it is useless. Stick to using it to make your family and friends jealous with all your Facebook photo posts, not for keeping them backed up. So there you have it, some great options for tech to back up your photos so you don't lose your photos while traveling. What other tech do you use to back up your photos while traveling? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.